What's up everyone, it's your boy Shaka here coming to you with another episode of A Twisted Path to Renown. Today we're going to be going through the first of a couple of series of different videos talking about a beginner's guide, trying to get people started off on the right foot in this game. There's a lot to learn so we're definitely going to have to go through a couple of things. First we'll start off in the inventory area when you first start the game itself as well as going into the raids, talking about different strategies that you can do to get yourself some good things as well as concentrating on certain things that will set you up for success in the future, certain items that you really want to be grabbing, as well as what you want to be doing after each raid. So we'll get into it and we'll see how things go. Hope you guys enjoy. And if you haven't checked it out yet, definitely hit that subscribe button. Comment in the section below what you guys want to see, what kind of questions you have, and maybe hit that like button as well. All right, let's get into it. Now, generally what I like to do when I'm playing is making sure that I got the best of the best. Uh, when you start off this game, though, unfortunately, the recruits are pretty pretty bad so it might just be one of those things that we just mule somebody until they die however we do have the opportunity to reset our traders yeah pretty much all of them are, are dookie probably raw shooter if i had the choice yeah i don't mind that i the aiming speed is slower or the reload speed is slower but sprinting and speed uh sprinting and strength is really important to me so we're gonna keep that going. And then once we get more renown, we will be able to get better recruits. I was lucky enough to get a Founder's Edition. However, the game is on sale right now. They dropped a 10 bucks from uh, 30 to 20. We'll definitely peep that if you haven't already. But I think we're gonna go pretty darn bare bones on this one. I just wanna make sure your gun has got some ammo in it. However, I am going to bring a, a pistol uh, holster because that's something that I can't do without. I need to be able to put my gun away to sprint around like a madman. Always bring a splint and a band-aid, uh, a bandage. And I always bring at least one food and one, one thing to eat. But I think what we'll do is probably bring two food and two water um, because I don't want to mess around with that. Peep in the new game. Oh, man. The Founder's Edition is lit, dude. That's a lot of good stuff right there. Okay, so plan of attack. We're going to get ourselves a couple of things started in the workshop. I don't think I can build any guns. I think I'm going to just start with getting some more storage space. Because everything else is pretty much you have to loot. And you know what? Actually, we're probably going to bring... We're going we're gonna to bring a rifle too. Since we get so much stuff in the Founder's Edition, I think I'll probably just roll the dice. And we get the scopes. 44 is significantly better. You always want to make sure you look at the stats. Like this one's got a bit longer of a drop and it has better damage a little bit more speed too so we're probably going to bring that with us and we might as well just bring a belt however if you do go to the workshop uh sorry to the market and you buy specifically from the traders the amount of money that you're putting towards buying stuff will help to get your reputation up um, which is important especially for certain traders like this trader is going to give you these type of backpacks once you upgrade them and the gun traders are going to give you way better guns i i kind of want to just sell all my 38s but for now i think we'll probably just go bare bones the shotguns are really on like they're probably the quickest thing that i'm going to be selling uh and all the tools can probably come live down here for now because we don't really need to worry too much about them we'll grab a belt just so we get a little bit extra carrying capacity but I like to kind of go bare bones just off the start because you never know the server might be completely popping and there you go there's the first example of why you need to check your guns before you go in because you want to have as much ammo on you as possible and if you have a specific ammo that's a bit better than others you can drag it you have to double click on the actual gun double click it so that this window stays open and then you drag the preferred ammo so that you can use the better ammo first, just in case you've got some really heavy hitting stuff that you're bringing in. I don't really like to bring in big heavy bags like this, so these ones might actually get sold as well. Um, but we'll see how it goes, because sometimes I like to run with homies and, uh, and be a bit of a mule, so we'll go with that. But for now, let's just get into it. Alright, alright, alright. Now, as a solo, I like to almost immediately check to see where my exit strategy is and kind of make a path from where I spawn to where I'm going to be going to extract so that I've got a clean sweep. Unless something really crazy happens, that's usually a good way to do it, especially as a solo. 
Um, okay, so we're southeast of the destroyed bridge. See, it's already popping off. Southeast of the destroyed bridge, and the extract is by the destroyed bridge. So maybe what we'll do is head north right away. Oh, that is some clean, clean graphics right here. Clean metric. Hold on. Yeah, so off. I don't like to have that one off because it gets everything kind of foggy and misty. Okay, so an important piece for the map, I gotta say here, guys, you don't necessarily have to check the map. There is a compass in the bottom right-hand corner, but the mountain you see right here, that is true north. That is one of the best pieces of information that I've gotten to navigate these maps. To understand where you spawn is really important, and then once you know that, you don't necessarily have to always look at your map. To understand what bearing you have, what direction you're going in, the true north there is going to be your compass. If you don't want to look at the map and you want to just kind of get your bearings, that mountain is going to be your go-to. On top of that, in the description below, I'm going to have a link to the map that's going to show you where all your extracts are. Is that a... pretty sure that's just a rabbit, but that scares the crap out of me. Okay, so another big component about this is that the mountain here is, is dead north. Perfect north. And our... Now, sometimes when you got bots making noises like that, that means that they've already aggroed on somebody. But they might have already killed them, too, so... It might just be a little, like... Might be a little bit perturbed. But it doesn't necessarily mean that there are players here. But it's always a good, good time to check... How aggro they are. And I do have the extract right here, so I'm gonna get a little bit... Sneaky deaky about it. Oh, that didn't work. There we go. You always gotta worry about the spread. Once you get to the better ammo types, your spread is not gonna be so bad. But sometimes you, you're thinking, man, I hit that guy dead in the head, but it's not because of hit reg, it's just generally because you've got a gun that is from 1899, you know? I was really hoping they wouldn't spot me. But at the same time, it just means that they run directly at me. And generally, it's a lot easier to hit them when they're running directly at me. Some of these, some of these guns that you get off the, the rip are uh, pretty unsatisfactory, I gotta say. It's kind of a, a catch-2020. You can get close enough to hit them, but then obviously you're going to be way more exposed. Found trouble. Oh dear. Don't shoot me yet. Oh dear. Ah! Alright, so unfortunately I got a little bit overzealous there. My chest is really low. If I get shot again in the chest, I'm pretty much dead, so whenever your chest is low, that's like the way that you die. And with bots, they don't headshot you. There's no real mechanic uh, where they can headshot you, so if you do get headshot, it's probably from a player. I like this new adjustment that they've made where if you go if you go into hiding, they don't really know where you're at. You can kind of get away from their their push or their aggro. You can see in the bottom right there, you've got your aggro. They're question marking you, kind of searching for you. As it gets more orange and red, then they start finding you or, or searching the area or they're close to aggroing. And then exclamation mark on the bottom right. It's going to be, they saw you and now they're in full combat mode. Let's try a pistol, even though it is a 38. We got players fairly close. I think this is the last bot. Not hearing too many too many sounds, but luckily they're across the river, so hopefully we can just find the uh the med That's a player. Maybe? No. Oh dear. Just fire. Let's quickly get ourselves better weapons looks like they've already killed a player i'm going in 
I'm gonna drop pretty much everything here because uh, 38 and 44 are pretty lackluster. I might regret this later. Um, see what we can get done here. This one is a way better weapon. And ore, I don't really need to worry too much about the ore right now. Clothing is looking pretty, pretty bad though. Even this guy's clothing. And this belt is looking pretty decent, so I'm gonna put this in here, drop this, and get rid of this crap. And I really want to grab this rifle holster, but there's not really too much room. We'll probably leave it there for now. Put some more ammo in here real quick. And that's only a 38. So we'll just keep going, try and get some more looting done real quick before people get the wiser. 45 right, uh, 45 pistol, that's pretty decent. So when you're in your inventory, you can drag a bullet into your gun and then in the inventory in your hideout, it'll automatically put that stuff right away. Like it'll fill your magazine. But if you're in a raid, you have to do it one by one. So you have to drag and click. Oh, we've already got somebody that got this stuff. Meta key is going to be great. Side bag is huge. Yeah, see, this is why I don't bring in very good stuff right away. Because we've got we've got a coup right here. I'm going to move this over just for my own sake. Bit of a superstitious guy. But yeah, so this guy died to... Player, I believe, or the or he killed a player and then picked up all of his crap. What I'm thinking, but this could be a player. It's uh, it's not easy to discern sometimes. Oh, this is all my crap. There we go. Put that there. Sometimes you can add the bullets together if they're the exact type. And get this belt, dude. This is a major come up right here. Um, let's see if I can get this in here. Nice. Uh, and obviously I need some pants. Okay. So we got the medic room right here. The key is going to pop this open. And there's the medic right there. Ooh, he's got some pretty juicy 45 ammo. Damn. Okay. Even a better hat. Well, this is already open. Wow. Something spicy happened here. Whoops. All right. Brass shot is so good right now. That is that is the start of a of a great run. Uh, let's see how big this side bag is. That's actually too small. Let's grab this one again. Army is bigger than military. Uh, I guess I've got room for one oak. But we're we're looking pretty good here. This is this might be our run right here. I don't really need to worry too much about money. Would like to get those vault permits. And a couple other things, but because we just got such a massive come up, if this was a 29 inch barrel, I would be 100% grabbing that. But I think this is a more important rifle holster. Um, let's get rid of the bolt ice. And better heals. This one's 30 times. Oh yeah, these are gonna go. Percent. I can buy these from the trader, no problem. So we'll throw this into our medic. Another aid box? Wow. Too bad you can't stack these. Uh, maybe we'll put this away, and then I think I can. Yeah, I can add that into there. Okay. This is a really nice, quick. Quick in and out game. But yeah, the door was unlocked on one end. Now I've got myself a medic key, but I don't want to use it on the ones that have already been or are still locked because then the medic key disappears on me. Oh, we're getting real close to dipping here. Oh, you can stack. Oh, that's not silver anymore. That's weird. Pocket watch would be good if I had the money or if I needed the money. We're not to worry too much. Yeah. Hunter's Edition is super juicy. Absolutely. Okay, I'm just going to quickly check the latrine here. The Droid Bridge has 25 minutes, so let's go hit that right, right now. Huge, huge win. 
a, a real in and out game. This last body here. Nice. That's huge. I could I, I could get a little bit more ammo. Maybe we'll check this body real quick. Because I do have that belt. I could grab food. I could grab the stuff off the table there. Sometimes the tarp makes a noise that makes me think there's a player here. Um, so if you ever hear that and there's a tarp close by, that might just be what it is. This is a good start for sure. There's one more body over here, but yeah, you can tell I'm laboring. I'm not moving nearly as fast. That spooks me up quite a bit. Okay, so these have already been looted. So that was probably early kills by the player. And all of those are bolo. I'm looking for slug. I don't think the medic people have slug. So we'll probably just uh, only pick up slugs. Maybe we'll pick up bolo if we need it when we get a shotgun. But for now, I'm not really going to be picking up bolo. Unless it's uh, very situational. So we'll, we'll stick to that for now. And get ourselves out at the hut here. So the hut is going to be, yeah, pretty darn close. So it's always nice to get that exit strategy so that you can make sure to grab whatever you need or what parameters you need to know to uh, to execute a nice escape. Like if you need 10 cents or if you need to disguise yourself as a military player. But this was, this was a clean first game, I got to say. Party size is a maximum of five, actually. So it can get, it can get pretty spicy for sure. And then we can take a look at what our renown and XP is and kind of apply that to uh, what we're going to be doing next. Yeah, very, very fun with five people. Can be pretty hectic, but I'd be interested to see what a 5v5 looks like. Or even just five players taking on um, the uh, the Fort Barry, the big, the big fort. Might have to go to Ultra, man. I'm really not seeing too much frame drop. It's very clean. Sounds pretty spicy wherever that is. I'm not I'm not looking to get on that right now. Alright, not bad. Alright, so first thing I always do when I get out of a raid is to go to my progression and upgrade that. Um always, always, always go for sprint and strength first. Strength is gonna give you the ability to carry more stuff. So we'll hit that up. You can see the difference here. There you go. So 1.5 extra kilograms that you can carry. It gives you a bit more ability to sprint around without losing too much stamina. Your stamina debuff isn't so bad. Um, and then obviously getting better sprint is huge. And then there's another 150. Um, because he is a raw shooter and the aiming speed is so bad... Is aiming speed and weapon drawing the same thing? Probably not. There's probably a bit of a de delineation, but we'll go with weapon drawing just to kind of un undebuff us. Let's see if that changes anything. Yeah, weapon drawing is the difference here. Okay, so aiming speed is still super bad, but at least we've been able to upgrade our player just a little bit. Um, okay, so whenever you look at things that you need, it's not going to count the things on your body. So you always want to be sure to um, drag it into your inventory to make sure you're, you're capturing everything pretty much. And we got another belt. Man, what a raid. Incredible raid. Some of these bullets are really nice. 126, 123. Real coup right there. So... I always like to keep my money up in the top left corner just because you're always going to be wanting to get rid of your money and it's always a good indicator of where your money is but if you have it down below you can always see it up here very crisp so far like incredible start to this game um we got we even got a bit of food if i had known that we had extra food and water i probably would have dropped that for other stuff um but uh we'll keep that for now and then brass shot shell is going to be to create better shotgun shells um, it's kind of a pain in the ass to craft it um, because what you need is brass sheets which means you need a small rolling mill 
need to get some brass ingot. Um, if you don't have brass ingot, you need to get zinc ingot and copper ingot. So it's this huge thing. This this tool as well. These two tools. And then if you go up and you finally got yourself the brass sheet, you need to go got shell. And you also need to get this tool as well. So if you're ever, ever able to get something that is going to make your ammo stronger or reduces the amount of durability impact that your uh, weapon has whenever you're using it, 100% you want to get brass. That's always going to be the best one. So I'm definitely going to grab that because I'm a bit of a freak for the uh, the, the slug rounds um, and, and to have them fully kitted. Another important one that I always like to pick up is always going to be if you go to high high quality, high charge, smokeless, brass case, lead tin, spitzer. Yeah, so pretty much anything is going to need number five smokeless and or this one right here. Super fine black number one, especially for shotguns. Black number one is going to be huge. And if you're looking for how to make slugs... You're gonna need quite a few things. Slug molding, a whole bunch of coal, and lead ingot out the wazoo. Definitely keep that stuff in mind. Definitely start to look at look for tools like this. Pretty much the early raids for me are gonna just be trying to collect all the crap that I need to re-up. I mean, even the medic key is not necessarily, you know, I don't need that, but I'm gonna bring it with me just because if I'm close to medic and I can quickly dispatch a bunch of players, a bunch of bots, I'm definitely going to do it. But you know what? Actually, I might we might do some more uh, slower, slower AI fights. I don't want to go crazy quite yet. Let's put all these 38s down here. Because um, honestly, these are I'm, I'm basically just going to start compiling better weapons. Than the 38s because the 38s are like having a luger in, in marauders or you know, it's, it's pretty low tier weaponry for sure so we've got another 45 that one's got 59 percent. this one's got 52 anytime a gun gets into the 20 percent range is when you start getting misfires generally it might be 25 you might get unlucky um so definitely make sure that you're uh you know equipped to anticipate misfires there's nothing worse than running into a player or into a, a boss and you're trying to shoot them and you're, you're misfiring every time and it's not it's just not working out. We're also going to save some of the 45 ammo because you don't need to bring in more than 30 bullets. I don't think at least that's that's just my personal opinion. Um, so we'll keep the we'll keep the key up here and obviously the money can stay here. Um, and let's throw some medicine in here. Generally, what I like to do is have a reserve bank in my side bag and then have at least three or four, definitely a bandage, definitely a splint, at least two or three echinaceas with like a decent plus 36 health. I don't like to use the plus 15s because you got to use a whole bunch of them. And then there's the coveted plus uh, 75s in here as well. So that's always going to be a nice one. Remember that that one's going to be your like go to grab that if you're really low and you got players chasing you down. Um, wow. OK, so you really only start out with some pretty low tier stuff. So I'm going to have to go out and start collecting some echinacea roots so I can improve my uh, medic because this guy, this guy doesn't really have the goods. I need I need some better stuff than that. All right, y'all. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the beginner guide. If you have any other things you want me to cover, please let me know in the comment section below. In the next episode, we're going to be talking about how to get Echinacea Root, how to improve some of our trader levels and our reputation, as well as just trying to get a bit more of a strategy going in terms of what we need to do in each of the raids. Quick little bursts of raids like that, though, with a couple of things that you don't mind losing too badly is definitely set you up for some pretty good come ups. All right. Ciao for now.